What's up, FSC? I just wanted to say what's up to you guys. I haven't talked to you in a while. I feel like on this platform, I just usually get right into the video. Uh, and honestly, that does better in the algorithm. But today, screw the algorithm. I don't care. I want to talk to you guys. Say what's up. So I'm really excited for the videos that I've been putting out. I just feel like um, I'm finding that creative spark again. Uh, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the things that I've been doing recently. Uh, today is uh, just like that. So a uh, really creative cut, shag haircut. I feel like it's right on trend with what's going on, what people are really liking. So uh, I don't wanna waste your time, uh, but I wanted to say hi, uh, get a little FaceTime with you guys. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the video. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so to start off this cut, we're gonna use a, a center parting and base everything off of that in the front of the head. So we divide the head in half. Uh, and now I'm gonna bring everything up over top of the forehead, really working in kind of a round shape section, uh, following the forehead and the head shape, because I really want that to be at that 90 degree point, which you can see here, uh, that angle that I'm going for. And then I'm over directing everything using a stationary guide, bringing it all to the very center uh, section number one. So if you think about it, section one is your guideline. You cut it at that length that you want, and then you work your way down the head shape. Uh, section two goes to one, section three goes to one, section four goes to one. And then once we get to about section five, we leave it disconnected. And the reason we do that is because I wanna keep that length on the sides and I really just wanna pop in a ton of layers around the front uh, and the top of the head. Now, this guest had a previous bang. Uh, if your guest doesn't have a bang, you still cut it the exact same way. You just might have to trim that bang out of their eyes uh, when you get done with it. I'm basing everything kind of off the bang that she already has. So really you gotta make that call when that person is in your chair. Uh, that's that curve that we're talking about. Now I move to the left side of the head, but I keep my body in the same exact position. So body position does not change. I start pulling everything towards me. Now, this is something I want you guys to really think about in every Every haircut that you do, um, you should always be pulling the hair uh, in the same direction on both sides. So I was pushing it towards the center on the when I was standing on the right side, and now I'm standing on the right side still. So I want to pull it to the center on the left side. So my combing stays consistent. I'm doing the same exact thing on both sides, bring it all the way to that center number one section uh, in the end. And then you can see uh, that's where my disconnection is going to be when I get right around that temple area. Now, uh, you're gonna ask me, uh, does this haircut work on fine hair? Does it work on thick hair? Uh, if we're basing this haircut on something, we're gonna say it's on medium to thick. Uh, if it was on fine hair, I'd make that disconnection a little bit thicker, a little bit fuller, uh, and that disconnection serves as a density saver uh, in that temple area. Now, we moved into the back. Um, this is gonna be concave layering or I call it concave. Some people would argue it's not. Uh, the reason I say it's concave is because I look at the head shape is curved and how that uh, hair is going to fall. It's gonna fall collapsed if I'm bringing it up just like this, cutting it parallel to the floor. But you can call it whatever you want. You bring it, again, stationary guide in the center of the head and everything gets brought to that center point. That's gonna push the extra weight out to the, the sides of the head but get the center of the interior of that haircut, the shortest point. So uh, just again, uh, on the left side, I pulled the hair to the center. On the right side now, I'm pushing the hair to the center, just staying really consistent with that combing throughout this entire haircut. So now uh, we start to blow it dry. You can really see those layers already coming to life. Uh, this haircut looks cool already and we're not even done with it. Uh, so I go through a little round brush blow dry just to get that shape started and to keep some volume in the haircut. Um, I'll show you guys, you're gonna see a really cool finishing technique with a cool tool at the end. Uh, but this is really just, I'm gonna do a little more dry cutting. Now I'm gonna use the FSE Dual 20 Pro. Uh, this is a, we call it dual because it does texturizing and blending. The blend Blending side is blade down. We're going to blend right now. I'm going to slide that scissor in. You can see how it just melts through the hair. Um, I go in, cut. I'm using the six inch 
uh, Dual 20 Pro uh, and just working it through the hair. Uh, we have it on our website. We have both lefty and righty, uh, but this creates, it doesn't take out a ton of hair, guys. I want you to understand that about this scissor. Uh, it doesn't take out a ton of hair, but that's the reason it blends so well. Um, so when you go in the hair, you don't have to worry about taking too much out. You're just softening and creating some texture. And now this is my matte black white wall uh, scissor. Um, it's really just white inserts, but I call them white walls because they look cool. Uh, we're going to do the stroking technique. This is a six inch FSE Precision Elite uh, limited edition matte black. Uh, go in. The stroking technique is just coming down on the hair and closing the scissor as you get to, uh, to your hand. And I just work my way through it. That's just to cut the bottom of the hair and to add a little bit more layering. And then I put a solid blunt line in. Uh, at the bottom to make the haircut look nice and fresh, um, obviously, and salon done. Same thing here, uh, stroking technique, work it through, and then I finish and cut my line. I left the disconnect. Um, that's why I clipped all that front away. I wanted to leave that disconnect because I really just like the way it's looking in the haircut. Sometimes you make decisions as you're going through a haircut and you say, I really like the way that looks. So you just clip it away so that you don't cut it, uh, and then you can go back into it and finish it later. A little bit of point cutting, uh, again, using that FSC Precision Elite scissor, um, vertical into the hair so I'm not changing my horizontal line. And look at the shape in this haircut, guys. It's awesome. I love this cut. I love the way that it turned out with the color as well. Uh, and now I go in with my Dyson Air Wrap to flip out and create uh, more of a modern feel to it. Um, some might say it's it's not modern. It's We did this in the past. And you're right. You're right. But it's modern right now. And that's what people are doing. Uh, so I hope you guys like the overall look of this. Add in a little bit of spray wax to it. Um, but you can see all those flips and the disconnects and uh, the shag up effect on it. The fringe looks super cool. So I'm psyched on this haircut. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, here's our end result, guys. Thanks for watching. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, cut as much as I enjoyed doing it. Uh, remember, go to freesaloneducation.com. Uh, that is our online store. Use the code FSE20 at checkout. FSE, as in Free Salon Education, uh, FSE20 at checkout. You'll get 20% off your entire order of the FSE Elite Scissors, Pro Series Scissors. Uh, it really supports the channel. Uh, if you guys need a scissor or need uh, a razor tool or combs or anything, uh, it's, it's very supportive of you to uh, go purchase there. I guess that's, I don't know what I'm saying. Very supportive of you. Uh, but thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, otherwise, just like the video, comment, and please share with all your hairdresser friends out there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.